Welcome to another episode in the Understanding Crypto series. I'm going to take a look at the Electrum Bitcoin wallet at this point. Uh, it's located at electrum.org. Uh, you can see um, the different downloads for Windows, Linux, and OS X, and Android, and so on. Um, notice there's a little comment here. Uh, you know, some security warnings, uh, Electrum, Electrum versions older than 3.3.4 are somewhat susceptible to phishing and don't download Electrum from another source than Electrum.org, which is where I'm at. And also learn to verify uh, GPG signatures so you can verify that you're actually downloading the correct uh, version. All right, so I went ahead and I downloaded uh, the Windows version. So let me see if that arrived in my downloads. Look over here in downloads. Yep, there it is. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And that should come up. Here it is. How do I want to connect to this? So Electrum communicates remote servers to get information about transactions and addresses. Um, do you want to let them pick one at random or do you want to select it? I'm going to go auto connect. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and create a default wallet. But let's see what it gives me as options. Uh, it just lets me pick the file. All right. What kind of wallet you want to create? Um, standard wallet, wallet of two factor, multi signature, or import Bitcoin addresses or private keys. So let's take a look at that one. Um, it'll ask me to put the addresses or a list of private keys. I want you to read a QR code or read a file. Uh, and they want the, the keys imp typed uh, <laughs> as actual the key address in WIF format. Okay. Yeah. So let's go back. Uh, let's do a standard wallet. We're going to try to restore a wallet using an existing seed. So we've got our seed phrase. Okay, let's type it in. We're gonna go army. Yep. We're gonna go van. We'll go defense. We'll go carry. Jealous. True. Garbage. Claim. Echo. Media, make, crunch. Now, obviously, if we were not restoring an existing wallet, uh, then we would be going through a process where we'd be generating the seed at that stage. So I'm gonna hit next. I'll only click options. I'm gonna go BIP 39. They don't actually generate BIP 39. Okay. Let me double check how many words I got. I got six, nine, 12. Yep. Okay. Next. And we want to detect existing accounts if they're out there. I can uh, choose a password to encrypt my wallet keys or I can leave it blank. I'm going to go ahead and leave it blank. They advise us we always use the latest version of collection, elect, electron. Yeah, sure, why not? All right. Um, this gives me my default wallet. My balance is zero now that we're looking at this. Uh, let's go to wallet information, default wallet, standard, false, lightning. Here's our master public key. Uh, we could go ahead, you know, we got lightning not available enabled currently. All right, that shows me my master public key. It's useful to know in case you want to, I can send. So I can send Bitcoin. It lets me figure out my payments, pay to whoever, description, amount, and so on. Uh, I can do a receive. Uh, I got my description, the amount. Uh, I can specify an expiration. Uh, I can generate a new Bitcoin address, again, based off my private key. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So we just generated this address um, and it tells me uh, it's gonna expire one day. But here's the request. 
you know, and here's a QR code that someone could use their smartphone to identify this QR code, they'd get my address and then they could send Bitcoin to me. Pretty cool. Um, again, currently my balance is zero because there's nothing in this account. Even though I had a uh, private key I imported, there was nothing associated with that private key. All right, let's go look around what's up else is up here. So we got information, password, private keys, addresses, labels, histories, contacts, invoices, requests, and so on. View just shows addresses. Um, so I can go over here, I can see some addresses, receiving addresses, some change addresses. Again, they're available to be used. Uh, I can show channels, contacts, a console, show coins, not really much any coins out there yet. Um, tools, network, pay to many, load transaction. Let's take a look at network. Shows me I can connect to nodes, select server automatically. Uh, block uh, the Bitcoin blockchain is at 710,000 blocks right now. It can tell me which nodes I'm actually connected to, and they're all roughly at the same block. Uh, and those are the servers. Uh, here's your proxy if you want to use a proxy. Uh, let's see what else we got here in this wallet. Pay to many. I can load a transaction that you've written. You can encrypt, decrypt, sign, verify a message. Some plugins, documentation, donate to a server. Uh, okay, so that's a basic look at the Electrum 4.15 uh, wallet. Um, and this is, of course, I, I installed it on PC. Uh, obviously, you could probably install it. Uh, there's many wallets out there. This is just one example of one Bitcoin wallet. So thanks for watching this uh, introductory video to downloading and installing the Electrum wallet.